Hey there, and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudia, and today I want to take you through the process of transforming my IKEA Billy bookcase. And yes, I know it's been done a million times, but I think that one of the reasons that this bookcase is so popular in the IKEA catalog is because it has so much potential to be transformed in the way that will fit better your home. So if you're planning to transform yours or any other IKEA furniture, please continue watching. In our apartment, we have two of those in the living room in a corner, as you can see, where it was always a struggle to decorate and make this place feel like a part of my living room and not just an entry traffic area that I always felt that feels like. So, what I would like to do in this area is transform this billy from this color that I feel that looks a bit cheap, particularly in this white, and add uh, an extension that I initially didn't buy in order to fit the height of my ceiling. Uh, our living room kitchen space has this attic look that it wasn't um, used to the full potential. So started to remove all the content of our Billy bookcases. Basically, one of them is used as a bar. We have a lot of bottles of drinks and glasses and all the decor and boxes there. I wanted them away because I knew how long this project will take and I didn't want to have everything spread it through my living room. After the cleaning, I started to prime the surface that I was planning to paint. I mixed my white primer with a pigment in order to get a darker one. As you can see, I'm not painting the inside of the closet because I'm planning to attach there some uh, peel and stick backdrop. I extended my painting area all over the house and in the balcony because there were a lot of shelves, doors and surfaces to prime before the paint. The color I chose to use is this ferro and ball in off black. I didn't have enough, I had only one box and after applying the first layer of paint I realized that this will not be enough. This is after one layer of paint and I had to improvise so I tried to match my color with what I had uh, where I live because I can find Pharaoh and Ball here. I uh, bought this black paint uh, and decided to keep the ferro and ball only on the external uh, parts like the doors and the side of the closet that will be visible and like this uh, I think it was a compromise that I had to to do because uh, bringing more ferro and ball in Israel was like a mission impossible. As you can see, I have some uh, midgets from the quality control coming to inspect my work. They were pretty excited and scared in the same time by this crazy color that I chose to, to use. But because I have a lot of natural light in the room, I thought that this crazy dark furniture will work. <sighs> to 
today I wanted to finish with the closet but uh, I will not be able because as you can see uh, I don't have enough background tape sticker and I ordered so it will take some time until it arrives I installed the uh, handles on the upper doors that I decided to paint before installing them and it was a mistake because as you can see here the paint came off when I tried to install the handles so I have to do more fixing also when I taped the windows in order to not paint on top of them I wasn't aware that in the end I'll see those white lines because I decided to not paint the inner side of the door so for now they will remain like this and I'll see if it will really bother me and I'll have to apply paint inside as well while I was waiting for the peel and stick, I started to do something with those light fixtures on the wall. They were not symmetrical and they were looking not great. I closed one of them and the other one I used to drag the electricity on top of Billy in order to have there some um, uh, light fixtures that will enlight my piece of art. Now when it comes to decorating it, I suck. It's a very, very exhausting job for me. And I tried all kind of positions and vases and books and glasses without glasses with, uh, I don't know, it took me one day and I'm still not 100% happy with how everything looks, but it has to do the job for now. So let's see the final look. So I hope you enjoyed your time spent with me and if you felt inspired by my transformation, please let me know. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.